Guys, um, I think if you've played Life is Strange before, you know what's coming in this video. Uh, this is a very heavy topic to do with Kate Marsh, um, and it is to do with um, uh, taking one's own life. Uh, so if you guys would um, not, if this is something that affects you, 100% click away. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello baby gangsters, this is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Life is Strange. And this is where Chloe said we can test out Max's powers? This looks like a place you would we would test out some powers, but I'm not sure if this, these is are the powers we can test out here. This is a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to America. I stand by um, answering the phone to um, Kate, by the way. I stand by it rough. a day later. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super sized. We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. That's the thing. Like, you don't know if this type of power will stay with you forever. Like, it could, you could, it could like, just, like, get David removed from you eventually. A douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be. Like Step Dildo. Step Dildo! Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Okay. Drink? Yuck. You are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Okay. Gear and guns? Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. I do, like, I agree with Max in this sense as well. Like, you know, I, I, I think, like, you know, first of all, she said pretty please, which is very nice. Um, I do agree with the, the, with the idea that, like, you know, drinking while shooting is not a great idea at all. Those shells look fresh. Which means someone was shooting here already. This is a really cool environment as well. I, like I said many times, the environment, the storytelling, and the environments in this game are absolutely fantastic. I love it. Oh, God, syringes. Very realistic, by the way. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Yeah, it is. It is. It's always a very disgusting thing, isn't it? It's always very weird. I know there's a bottle up here, but how are we going to get to that? I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. True. Hmm. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Are we... How? Oh, can we climb up this way? Oh, this is like a little... Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we should... That's probably gonna be one of the harder bottles to find, I'm guessing. This is a cool location. But I imagine it smells like dirt, man. Like, oh my god. Every car has its own tale and history. So I figured out what was wrong with the audio yesterday, and I'm just gonna be getting a new microphone. I said in the last episode, like, I'd like... I don't need my, my my microphone, especially when we're like doing what this every day to be here? changing settings all the time. A cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. So how are we gonna get this bottle without it breaking? Put it, put something down there or something. Like put like something that's like, oh, like climb up and get it. But yeah, like, I don't need my audio getting destroyed, uh, like, uh, like, randomly, and it, ha it will happen, if it happens once, that type of stuff happens again. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking that we, um, this new microphone I got as well, as it was due an upgrade anyway, you know, it was due an upgrade. Hello, bottle number one. One more to go. Um, but basically what happened, if you guys want to know what happened, it randomly changed settings to do, like, the worst settings you could ever have. It compressed the audio to death and put up, like, a weird noise gate. And like, I don't know, it, it was so weird. That's a weird old doll. Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. And to tell you the truth, it almost did the exact same thing this morning when I went to like test record stuff. And I was like, uh, the first thing it did was like go back to those old settings. And if it keeps doing that, like there's gonna be some morning that like it will just, I think it's just on the fritz, you know what I mean? And that's fine. This beautiful yeah, microphone did a good job for years. Rest in peace. But let's move on from the microphone stuff. I'm very excited to get the, the new microphone will be here by tomorrow anyway, so. Or the Monday, I think, so. It'll be here. The old doll is really creepy, by the way. This is the scariest thing. Is this a shirt? Not the baby doll. To me, the baby doll is scary. Or the old camera is pretty scary too. Or a washing machine. Imagine washing your clothes, guys. <laughs> like, do you guys wash your clothes in America? What chumps? <laughs> I'm joking. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. Yeah, and apparently, like, yeah, in America. 
and like in fairness in Sweden as well, um, they also have put the, the light switches on the inside. I don't know if it's just an old house thing that you, you have the light switch on the outside sometimes. Uh, but I, I, it, I, I've seen both. I've seen both happen. Um, I think from, I, I, like, to me, like, it's, like, one of those things where, like, I don't mind. Like, I'm not, like, I don't care, really, but I just always, it's also weird to see something this that's not like your thing, right? Museum for Chloe and Rachel. Whoa. So this would have been a hangout spot for them. Because there's a lot of stuff here that Chloe was into back at her house as well, right? Like, you see the posters and stuff? L, L, A, L, A, bitch? Or La, bitch? Rachel with darts. So Rachel is destroying Chloe in darts. There's a makeup case. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Man, it's kind of sad, isn't it? Like it's always sad seeing preserved areas. Um. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. The thing is, though, like you can never think of it that way, Max, because I think things change so quickly to like if it's with a different person you know what i mean like and, and like you can't predict that would be you you know so rachel did go to a vortex club party this flyer is dated right before she disappeared dj irish bacon we were talking about irish bacon in the last episode rachel songs i wonder if chloe would ever make me a mixtape Rachel's songs. You know what's so natural about this as well? Like, Chloe has a lot of jealousy when we're talking, like, and it's, by the way, it's such a natural thing for Chloe to have jealousy when we were like, oh, I'm gonna answer Kate, because she doesn't know what, what Kate's going through fully, you know what I mean? She doesn't, she doesn't, like, fully know. I will, she probably does if rumors are going around. But, like, I think there is also that thing, especially when you're, like, a teenager, there is a bit of, like, thing that's like, well, why aren't you talking to me? Why aren't you working with me? You know, why aren't you, like, doing that with I me? I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. There's a lot of connotations here in this game. Chloe was here. Rachel was here. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Oh my. Yeah, and there is like a little tinge of that with Max as well. Like, hey, I wish I was here. Ouch. Yeah, we'll come here to get, we'll get, we'll get the bottle. Oh, there you are, a little bottle. Yep. Trying That's to play two. hide and seek. So we need five bottles. Boom. Only three bottles left. A very cool way of doing the collection mission and making it feel so natural. Right, Warren, how are you, bud? Okay, let's see where 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 do we get to here? So what do you know about relatively time travel? Yeah, Doctor Who, Doc Brown for what class? And I got any any time uh, science homework? And I know my, I know this shit. I'll explain detail later if you actually help me. Like time, my texts are infinite. Plus, I have unlimited messaging. I'll make you li a list of essential books and websites and movies. I'm intrigued by your new interest in science. You know, I like sci-fi. Just think about it hard, okay? Hit me up any time. If you have any questions, I'll be in the TARDIS getting my DeLorean ready. Okay, dude. We're going Abe. Nuremberg is 60 miles. We should leave around 5. I drive. Hell yeah, in your new ride. We can get supplies to drive and maybe we can have dinner first. Dot 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 dot. Or whatever. Oh my god. T to text that to- to do dot dot dot. And then two minutes later go, whatever. Anyway, go Abe. That is like him trying to like save a bit of face, right? Too late. And he's kind of like, yeah, we can get dinner first. Yeah. So we have a new uh, thing on Joyce. I want to make sure. Hold on a second here. Um. So I don't know much about him, but I heard he was kicked out of the army or something. Yeah, I I think someone was saying that like was he kicked out of the army? I think I think it says it here that he was kicked out of the army. But then again, that could just be rumors. Uh, Joyce talking to Joyce after five years is almost intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in ye old Two Whales Diner. That clicking and clinking of silverware on the smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back uh, to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember here her always smiling at Chloe even in mischief. I doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they're still banter like their mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died that I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how uh, often Joyce relives that day. 
That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back at that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him, uh, disturbing as that sounds. Maybe she just wants more of a structured life for herself? Obviously, you can work it out with that way with Chloe. I hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. So there is like a, a love for Chloe. Uh, sorry, love for Joyce's mom. So we got to here, was it? I think it was, and then we, then we're 28 and 29. So before catching the bus out to meet Chloe, I saw Nathan t uh, talking to David, which made me nervous. Otherwise, I had a nice soundtrack ride to the Whale to Wales Diner. Talk about going back in time. I haven't seen the diner in five years, but it looks exactly the same. Although now, there are way less fishermen and way more dumped food carts than we were kids. Chloe and I had the best backdrop to play pirate, old ships and big ocean. Chloe was late, duh. So I was happy to be distracted by seeing Joyce. She was more than late, because we were late. We were late. <laughs> we 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 were talking to the homeless for a bit, you know? Uh, the diner is a, like a museum piece, except with customers. Better still, the food hasn't changed at all. Joyce seems to be really glad to see me again, and she didn't give me a guilt trip uh, for not staying in touch. After William died, she wanted to move forward with a new life and husband. Chloe doesn't want to accept that. Joyce wasn't happy about Chloe getting busted with weed. I really uh, should have stepped up and taken a hit the, the hit instead of Chloe. I feel bad that Joyce has to defend David for laying a smackdown on his own stepdaughter. William was always so kind and gentle with us. Can't imagine how Chloe would have been, uh, it would be if he hadn't died. So much drama, I haven't even eaten my, finished my breakfast. Finally, Chloe showed up my, more bubbly than I would have uh, thought after getting uh, almost getting killed in the bathroom yesterday. It makes me happy to see your smile, but that me smile meant trouble. It's not so weird that like you know something happened, but it didn't. You know, since all she really wanted was for me to show off my rewind poster, so I did. I, and I have to admit, I felt like a total boss, except I didn't start feeling weak or woozy. The more I wound, I even got a nosebleed, which kind of freaked me out. Chloe always wants more, so she demanded we go to her top secret lair. She still has to get pissed off at me because I dared to answer Kate's call. I'm not a fan of Chloe's petulant side. Of course, that's okay to not be a fan of it. She tried to make me feel like an ass, but screw that. Kate was so happy I answered, I actually felt worse for her. That's good to hear Kate, Kate was happy. Um, Chloe has to know that I have two friends, can have two friends at once. Um, th the situation is this, I could be in the, the most important work meeting in my life, and if I know someone is in this position, because like, I've seen this before with people, we all have. If I've, someone's in Kate's position, um, you know, and you pick up the phone, you know? You'd answer the phone. Always. And it goes both ways, really. Um, and if it made her day, that's like enough for me. That's more than enough for me. If it made, uh, Kate's day even a little bit better. Just not to make it perfect. You're not gonna get a perfect day. But if it did a little bit, I'm happy. So we know where th we, we have to find the other two bottles, because you know where what another bottle is. So we have to find that other, the other bottles then. I've never been in a, a yard like, like a junkyard. Um, I don't think we have them a lot. We do have junkyards, I think, but, like, they're kind of, like, not like this. Like, um, in American TV shows, junkyards are, like, Three fabled down, stuff. Two more go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Like, if I got a lot of my American cultural stuff, like, what I learned about America. Because someone was shocked to find out I knew about Colorado. I mean, like, that's, like, you know, we we learn a lot of American culture because American TV shows are still the most famous TV shows in the world. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Jesus, man. And I like that Max's internal monologue is actually pretty freaking honest sometimes. Like, a lot of time. Like, it's like... Like, the game isn't trying to make Max out to be this perfect creature. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado. Oh, is it like a... Is it a... a sign? That dough is the perfect photo op. When I think of junkyards, by the way, is what I was going to say. I think of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, uh, uh, both three and four. And that was where I, like, really learned about junkyards as a kid. And, like, you know, you see stuff like The Simpsons and stuff like that. And, like, you know, there's a wrestler called the Junkyard Dog. You know, like, that's, I, I, I literally learned about American culture from The Simpsons first, I think was probably the main one I learned from American culture, and then, this like, Futurama was kind of that, too. And King of the Hill. King of the Hill and The Simpsons and Family Guy and American Dad when I was a kid. Like, I was, like, a, a, a kid, like, and, and you're probably like, why was I, like, why, why was a little five-year-old watching Family Guy? Um, one Christmas, 
um, Santa Claus gave me a Family Guy DVD when it was supposed to be for my older 16 year old uh, brother. <laughs> And, of course, at that point, Santi's not going to come down and change it around, you know? So I was like, oh my god, what's this? A cartoon? And, like, I saw the worry for some reason in my, in my parents' eyes. You know? And I watched it, and I was like, oh, this is hilarious. And I didn't get half of the jokes, you know? It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Yep, yeah, the bus... The bus... Fuck up where? The bus fuck up where? True that. You tell him. Man, it's so fun just exploring this place. You know what I mean? It's so fun just exploring this world. No way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Um, we go here? I don't want to go that way. Yeah, neither do I. Um, I will say this, so the bonfire spot is where there's probably, like, another bottle. Um, I, I do want to say as well, like, you know, I don't know if you guys do this in, in, in America. Uh, like, usually how we get rid of our rubbish is we have this thing called a skip. And a skip is, like, this gigantic bin that's probably the size of a car. And you rent it out. And someone brings a skip to your house. And you just, if you want to empty out, like, a shed or an old house with all your old stuff or all your old junk, you put it in the skip. And then the people take it away from the skip. And put it in like a, like a rubbish place or something. Maybe we actually have to follow the dough further. Yeah, I don't know if you guys do skips. When I was a kid, I wanted to move to America though. Because America seems so bright and gigantic. Sit on the stump. It was, it was a beautiful thing to me. Like, it was like... So Holy quiet crap. And primordial out here. Primordial is actually a good word. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia Bay is trying to tell me something. I just have to figure out the message. really nice. These little scenes are really good. They're really good to add into the game. Oh, we can just go this way anyway. Yeah, I imagine that there's probably a bottle up here then. Where if kids are partying up here with a bonfire. You'd imagine. Maybe the bonfire actually isn't up here. Maybe I was wrong this whole time. Okay, let's get the other bottle, because you never know if it might trigger something else, you know? Let's get the other bottle. People be like, hey, that's not realistic, you run around the place. This is how I walk everywhere. So we got a bottle that we... I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Well, let's go get this one anyway. The plank is here. There's, is there a football? There's not another glass bottle up here, though. Maybe there's one over here? Get a good overview, usually. Hmm. I could use this board as I a don't. I thought we already this heard this. I was like, oh, let's, let's skip this part. Heavier than I thought. Ugh. Big oof. Want to fight about it? It's a good way to get a bottle. <laughs> That's our fourth one. We need one more bottle. One more bottle to go. What should we? I mean, never. <laughs> In a million years. Junkyard is a dive. I see why Chloe hangs here. Yep. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. 
we're hiding out and plotting our future. And despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. I'm so happy. Like we both I think that's a reason why that there's a lot of themes of wanting to go back in time and staying in put and changing while we're also changing things and going back in time and changing stuff around the world around us. I think it's clearly like intentional. Kate, you okay, Kate? Thank you for such great advice about going to the police and telling me anything about Nathan. So I appreciate it. Stand by me. Keeps my faith. Kate, I'm on your side. Please don't mention me too much if you can. I'm already in trouble. And thanks so much for getting me this morning. I was about to have a serious cry and I need a friend. You were there as usual. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll be there for as much as I can, Kate. I don't feel good about Kate. Um, it's just because I've seen the signs like this before. I have. And I think we all have. Um... It doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good seeing it. So there's a bonfire. She said, I think that's why she's giving us hints. It's like there's a bonfire around here somewhere where kids used to party. Oh, there's right there. Yeah, there's like a little bonfire area over here. Can we even go this way? Yes, there it is. A little camp. Fire. And there's a bottle. That's actually really good game design. Just follow the smoke. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. But now we keep the bottle on our hand. Yep. We keep the bottle. Whatever items you have, you keep on your person. We have all five bottles. Hopefully, I think we did a really thorough search around the place. Thanks, Max. And they're her bottles too. You know it. <laughs> the legal drinking age where I'm from is 18. So Wait, one more for the road. But I think it's 21 in America. So you're serious about this? We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max. You have to help me aim. What? What? Show me the way, man. What? Cause you're drunk? I need to see you shoot first. Okay, so we say right. Show me the way, man. Aim a bit to the right. This is insane. Sir, yes, sir. Oh yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Wait. Now for the second. Can ball. I? How's this? Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Can I? S okay. Okay. Now, I, Max, I, I guess I kind of get it a little bit. Slightly above. Because I could just tell her how right to aim. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you. Watch out, Nathan. You gonna shoot Nathan? Let's now go. That is fun. Let's pump up Let's the go. Let's and shoot find Nathan. <laughs> I want to get creative here. She's definitely not sober <laughs> right now. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh, the monitor sounds fun. I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. That's a good line. Well done. Old school. Lame. Wait, what? They want us to rewind back again? Give me something to shoot, Max. Oh, because it wasn't cool enough? Plank here. I hate old planks. Yawn. So we have to get one that's cool enough. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the Honestly, wheel Honestly, like, now. is I think shattering the glass on a computer screen. Oh, no, I was wrong. <laughs> nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want nah, one more shooting uber tanks? cool trick a great shot. Line. How about using that junker for a target? I think I'm calling out great lines because there have been a very few cheesy, corny lines. So, the gas Dude, tank? I need a target before I shoot. 
the gas tank. This is safest. Let's see what happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. Oh god. Oh god. Boom! Car definitely down. Wait, this is gonna cause like a big forest fire though. Should we let this happen? <laughs> I feel like we shouldn't, because that could, that could cause some really bad ramifications. Let's Dude, I need a target. Shoot the windshield. I see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass. That was fun, right? You guys better run for cover. Is that good? Yet the bottle remains. Oh, so they want we have to do a ricochet with the bottle. So the rim of the car, then. That's the only thing it would Put like. A real dent in that front bumper. Right. That's the only thing it would Goodbye, do. Goodbye, cruel bumper. Jesus, I shot myself. Oh uh, my God! Myself. Rewind, rewind. Oh going. God. Hold on, Chloe. Oh my God! Rewind back right now. Okay, I'm sorry, Chloe. We let you shot Chloe. We got Chloe. Cl Cl Chloe. Chloe shot. What the hell Dude, is I this need game? A target before I shoot. <laughs> the tire? Oh, the rim, the, the that part of the tire. Oh my god, tire. Chloe just got shot. Adios, <laughs> Chloe just got shot. Death. Yeah, I see you get rid of the bottles. Uber cool. Okay, Chloe, I, I just want to say I've seen you be shot twice my now. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. It's not, it seems know. like it hurts her every time she does it. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Wait. Oh, we're back here. Well, at least we're back there for a second. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Man. Just <laughs> give me a minute. It's very, it's very heavy sometimes, isn't Too it? Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. So, is this like, I think they're, they're giving you a chance to explore the whole place again, but I think we explored everything, right? So I think that's why they're like letting us do this thing here. Because uh, they're like, hey, explore this, explore this area. Uh, do, do the last bit of exploration. So I think we've kind of done the bit of exploration we need to do. Is there anything in here that we need to look at? Not as of now. There's a new one of these. 30. Just when I thought shit couldn't get crazier, Chloe took me to a secret lair, the city dump. Perfect for Halloween, like where the vehicle and appliance ghosts of Arcadia Bay come out rot and rust. Urban dystopia porn. Uh, but instead of taking cool photos, Chloe had me do some silly, fun, kind of fun gun tricks. Um, so, I decided that we're going to say the bad words. You know what I mean? Because YouTube won't, YouTube won't get me, especially if I say it in a funny way. Um, really the reason I didn't say it before was just because I, I explained to someone it's in a I have a very good standing with YouTube and I want to keep it that way and also I really feel like um, This is I didn't know what this game exactly was going to be this game has a lot of references to a lot of bad words And I think we just have to say them to show actual respect to the actual things that are happening. You know what I mean? So we're gonna we're gonna continue the same. Oh, we'll take a photo My girlfriend I bet there are crazy ships between these two, though. I bet there are crazy sh ships between these two. Take an optional photo eight in episode two out of time. So we're missing some photos, I bet. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? What? <laughs> Excuse us, Frank. Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. 
I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? Point the gun at him. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. That's none of your Where business. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your Wait, goddamn is that... business. You're my business now, That's and I. That's Rachel's. Bracelet. Yeah, I was thinking as soon as she said that. Bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step. Oh yeah, right. You oh yeah, right. I mean it. You want me to cut get you, bitch? away from her? Please. Go! Oh Please my step God. Back. You're kidding. Put that down. I will shoot you. We're not gonna shoot, right? We can't shoot. If we shoot now, I feel like this is gonna have major ramifications, right? Like, I feel like we should just threaten him with the gun, right? And Max doesn't need to have the, that weighing overhead that she shot someone. But don't put the gun down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Oh, Christ. oh my You're god. Like no. Stuff. Now he has two weapons of murder. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me. I should have shot him. Or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kid. Wait. Wait. Rewind back. He said he's going to threaten her with the gun? You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. Rewind. Rewind. He said he's going to threaten her with the gun. My, ass. my step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker. Oh my god. Now. Wait. Sorry, Chloe. I've Can I rewind? never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. I'm not. It's a beautiful shot here. And there are more guns out there. No. Let's blow. Wait. My secret. Can I not rewind? Secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Wait. This dude said. Oh man. Ah. <laughs> this dude said, I'm going to come back for you with the gun. And then also, she's going to get another freaking... The gun is gone, so she's going to get another freaking slap or something. Okay, guys. This is probably the worst decision I've ever made in my life. <laughs> this is the worst decision i ever made in my life. Are you ready to do this? We should jet before. We have plenty of time to do oh. anything we want whenever we want. Make me proud, sister. Oh, she knew. She's like, hey, we should go. We should go before anything happens. <gasps> bah! Oh that is hilarious. my oh, god. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. Oh no. And you'll wish I had no memory because I never forget. You have until Friday okay. to pay me. But look, he didn't take the Don't gun. Ever right? Pull crap he didn't take like the gun. Again. That's good. It'll be the last what did I do? <laughs> this Try is so heavy. Next time, brainiacs. Guys, like this is legit. It's so difficult picking choices, but like it actually like it, I like it because Sorry. it's actually heavy. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for Oh me. my god, I'm gonna cry. This is so Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. No, it didn't, did it? At least oh Frank my... is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Really quickly, I want to talk about that for a second here. The reason I went back was literally because, like, he took the gun. He threatened Chloe to come back with the gun. And then Chloe also would have this problem that she, that her father, her stepfather's uh, gun is gone as well. So I rewinded back because I was like, okay. And, like, you're probably like, Calvin, you were legit going to shoot someone? Man, like, here's my thing, right? And here's my, here's my take. If you come up to one of my friends and hold a knife to their face... Right? Whatever happens after that, I feel like is your fault. <laughs> is that terrible? Is that a terrible thing to say? If you hold a knife to my friend's face, I feel like what happens after that is like, like, you caused it. You know what I mean? Unless it's something really horrific that you should never do to someone, right? But I thought she was gonna maybe like shoot him in the leg or something? Or something like that? Um... <laughs> Oh no, I'm laughing because I'm so nervous because it's a very serious situation because now he's going to come back for us as well. 
But then again, again, like I said, in this game, I'm not thinking about the ramifications about me right now, really. I'm thinking about, like, I want to protect Chloe. I want to help Kate. Oh, my God. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. I, I disagree because he had a, because he said he was going to come back with a gun. You know what I mean? Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel Yeah, that's Chloe's weird. That's really creepy. We both need a timeout from here. That's really creepy how he had the the bracelet, you know? Really creepy. I, I'm I'm standing by my decision. I can't believe you pulled the gun of the way. on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. <laughs> you have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. The, the, the good solution here would have been to rewind time and then go, Frank is coming, and then I'm run, glad you were right? Here. Me too. That would have been the good solution. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Can I be honest with the whole idea of Frank being scary? He's scary, of course, in this moment, but like... I'm not being bad, Liz. I know it sounds horrible, but in, in like Ireland, those type of guys are like a dime a dozen. And they're everywhere. Um... And usually they get their comeuppance and they get, and they're like paper, like the way, like, you know, my father would describe people like that. And I know it sounds so bad, but you know, paper, paper men, you know? And as soon as they get someone else who is bigger, a bigger bully than them to bully them, they crumble, they disintegrate like paper does. Um, and like, really, like, I have to put this into perspective as well, because for me, like, someone holding an eye to me is terrifying. It is scary. I'm not trying to say it's not scary, you know what I mean? It's, it's terrifying. Um, so, you know, like, because it's easy to say from the perspective of, like, us, like, playing this game, me playing this game and going, like, he's just this guy who's, like, really annoying and he's, like, he, there's, like, 20 of them in, down the street in most places in Ireland and stuff like this. And that's such a bad way of looking at it, really. If you put it into perspective of, like, even me being in this situation, I would be terrified. Would I be able to pull the trigger? Probably not. Probably not. The fact that Max even, like, was even able to hold a gun to him, it's terrifying in its own right. Um, now, the thing that's scary about him most is that he did not think that she would even shoot the gun. That he was, like, if, if someone's pointing a gun at me, regardless if I think they're not going to shoot, I am ducking for cover. If someone holds a weapon up to me, I'm ducking for cover. You know what I mean? I'm ducking. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah we have to Feels always like put things world, in perspective. Huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out we need a new secret hangout at least frank wouldn't find us are you okay max i'm freaked out I'm freaked out i'm still freaked out about what happened i think we have a, a right to be you know we're, we're thinking about a lot of our people we have a right to like also explain how we feel as well all he cares you know? about is his cash stash and mangy dog chloe did you see what just happened i almost shot him it's also very crazy that Chloe is so desensitized Chloe, to this stuff now. This is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Obviously don't get my pot from you, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Wait, he's doing this over weed? I mean, like, yeah, I know that happens over weed, but, like, man, like, calm down. It's like an 18-year-old, 17-year-old girl, dude. Calm the frick down. Don't say, no, we'll say hung, hung out. Wait, both these answers are not good for me, because hung out is like, what are we doing with the implications? Are you hung out? He's a bad boy. Hung out? Yeah, that's a bad answer as well. That was a bad answer, too. Uh, no, we didn't have sex. Yeah, that's a bad answer. Gross, man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake yeah, of bad, 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 I, I regret that answer. That was a bad answer. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got This Rachel's place is beautiful bracelet. as well. What do you think? My brain is fried. And it is. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all of this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Rachel and I. Why? Again, like, I'm so... Like, we have to We have to answer. We have to answer. Why? We have to. I bet she would hate yeah. me. 
You're not that different. She had has a great eye for images and for art. That's good. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. Hella, man. Hella. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Hopefully. All the Real birds. Tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the bead poet here. <laughs> I'd rather be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. That's a good advice again. One thing I do genuinely miss about, like, doing that photography Perfect. course thing I did for a year. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, the pre-render stuff has glitches like this. It's it's crazy. Like, it's actually... Holy hell. The pre-render stuff is crazy glitchy. Help! I'm stuck! Hold on, Chloe. How'd you get stuck? What the heck? Oh What's my that? god, girl. Take off your boot. Oh, shit. Um. Do we have to find. Wait, can we divert the train? I can't even move it an inch. Um. What's with the fuse box? Awesome. It's not locked. Uh, what do we do? Look. I better find a tool to cut those wires. A tool to cut the wires. Okay. What the? Please get it out of here. Uh, okay, where's where's the tool to cut the wires? Oh, there's tools up here. I can see it. I can see it. There's some tools up here. Run! <laughs> oh, girl, I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Uh, what's this? That's a that's a crowbar. Take it. I can definitely use this bad boy. No, but we we found please tools. Please. We need to find tools to cut the wire. Okay, hold on a second, 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 hold on a second. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, oh, you can just crowbar in this. Okay, cool, cool. Score. Oh my god, no, come on! Hurry up, Max! Um We are so lucky. No one no. up! Now I can pull a total MacGyver. Uh. <laughs> oh god! Okay, rewind all the way back. Oh no, man, what the like, it's so weird because, like, it almost reminds you of, like, a... We're rewinding all, all the way back so we can do it from the start. This kind of reminds me of, like, a... Like, almost like a... Oh, we still have all the items. We still have all the items? Yes, of course we do. In and out, no problem. This kind of reminds me of a... Kind of a re-zero type thing. The way you know the death is going to ha happen, but, like, you can change it. Oh, God. Wrong, wrong, wrong button. Okay. Uh, you kind of know what's going to happen. Holy, yeah, this is, like, the most horrifying thing in the world. Holy. It's so scary. Which wire to cut? Uh, let's try do it in order, and we can rewind. Green first. Oh, stupid light! No go. Come on, we can do it. 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 Oh, we can't. Okay, that's fine. Let's try the yellow. Wire to cut. Let's try the yellow. It's okay. Whoa, short circuit. Short circuit city. That work? I guess that didn't work. So it's red. But which wire to cut? Red. Now that's the right cable. So that we can switch this now. This yes, was insane. I did it again. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Can you imagine, like, you okay? seeing you your friend's death and having to change it? Now we're totally bonded for life. See. So, yeah. That was close. She's seen her friend get shot twice and almost get hit by a train. A nice, quiet, almost get knifed. Spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. You might not last. It's okay. We will. That's very right. sweet. That's a very sweet line, isn't it? We will. Oh my god, look at look at this. Look at this. Like, that's the definition of a rust bucket. This is such an exciting game as well for something I thought was going to be much more quiet. For the ride, Chloe. It's actually an extremely right quiet game as well. 
Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Um, explain what? <laughs> explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know? We'll say like, uh... Uh, it means shit happens, right? No, crazy shit happens. Because it can. And will. Why me? Chloe I'm looks uh, really cool as well. girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. <laughs> it is really sweet seeing you together, guys. I'm on such like a high after this, guys. I'm on such like a weird high. Into the Vortex October, so the Vortex Club is still kind of taking over the school in some weird way, I guess. Not a weird way, like, it, it's very normal. There's Zachary again with his stupid hoodie. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Sure. Um, it's actually kind of cool to do some wandering, right? So are you There's going Justin again. Club, Justin Mark? always looks dumb. I, would miss it. I have the sweetest outfit. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. That's, yeah, that would be me. I'm the type of person that's so petty like that. Oh, so you're allowed to do this? You're allowed to do this then? Hello, Principal Wells. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Go fuck yourself, man. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, like... Go, go F yourself. Seriously. Like... No, it's not. I'm not even gonna no. talk to you anymore. Never mind. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse- This dude came up with, like, the old lines in the book. I do care about you. I remember my year ahead uh, would say- Like, and I, I here's the thing. I, he wasn't a bad dude like this guy. He would never come up with something like that. But, like, you always know those typical lines that the user just like, I care about you. Unless it's something bad. And you're like, dude, like, don't- I won't tell- I won't tell you shit then. Isn't that right, Zachary? Zachary always looks like he's ready to throw a football. He's actually a beast. Though he needs to s no, no, you can skip leg day if you want, Zachary. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always- So he's like, doesn't seem too bad, though, doesn't he not? I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Oh, yeah, he did that, didn't he? It's over. It's none of my business. It's over. Just another- Literally none of my business. Mini drama. You mean stupid shit. If, man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about yeah, her. Yeah, I agree. Like now. I then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See at the game. Yeah, he's not that bad, is he? He's not that bad. I think the few times he's been rude to us, he's just like, I think, I, like, can I be honest? Like the time he was rude to us about the ball, like Max, get out of the way, the ball's coming. I really feel like that's just like, there's some people who are just abrasive by nature and they don't have a lot of tact, but like sometimes I won't hold it against them, you know? You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. Uh, best singer ever in Oregon, looking for the best guitarist ever to kick ass bad to take over the world. Influences, the Ramones, the Shins, the Beatles, the Ramones. The White Stripes, the Ramones, the Smiths, the Who, the Ramones, the Style Council, the Ramones, and Lady Gaga. Contact Steve Hackney, 555-846-9129. No calls for 4 p.m. or after 6.35 p.m. on weekends. Um, let's see, okay, the Ramones, not a big fan. The Shins, not a big fan. The Beatles, love. The Ramones, not a big fan. The White Stripes, one of my favorite bands of all time. The Ramones, not, not a big fan. The Smiths, the Smiths are like really good. It's just like Morrissey has like changed my perception of them. It's really hard to listen to them. I like to think when I'm listening to the Smiths, I'm not listening to Morrissey anymore. The Who, they're all right. The Ramones, not a big fan. Style Council, I haven't really listened to any. The Ramones, Lady Gaga is pretty freaking great. Um, yeah. 
Sad, lonely, and depressed. Come praise with your peers. Bible study. Sundays afternoons at Cardi Bay Library. All fates welcome, so be happy. That's really nice. That's really nice. Who set that up, I wonder? Uh, swim like an otter. Experience retired PE teacher and former otter champion will personally train you to glide through the water. Embrace your inner otter. For details on call, Michelle Barenci at waterlogged at arcadiabaygym.wet. Like a new tablet for sale. It contains five gigabytes of cat pigs. No. Er erase it before you give it to me, please. <laughs> Thank you for the cat pigs, though. There's David here. We'll talk to David in a bit. Um... Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. It's a tough position to be in, though, isn't it? Like, as a friend who, like, is in its social standing and you're used to that social standing, it can be scary to step out of it. There's a game called uh, Lost Judgment, which is a really fantastic game, and one of the things they, they explored that is so true about, like, teenage years is there's, like, this thing where um, a lot of people know what Victoria is doing is wrong. And I'm, I imagine that the girls that are hanging around with her know what Victoria's doing wrong. I imagine, you know, Zachary knows what she's doing is wrong. A lot of people are wising up to what Victoria's doing is wrong. Usually there's not many people that we talk to in this uh, game that don't go, Victoria did something really weird. Um, but one thing that's really cool about it, though, is, uh, or not cool about it, it's not cool about it, is that usually people won't stand up for the smaller person in the group unless other people do it as well. And it's always hard to be the first person to step up and be like, don't do that, you know? Um, it's always difficult because no one wants to be the victim either. No one wants to be the victim of that. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I don't. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Yeah. Ciao. Um, I said I don't there because Max deserves to have some self-respect for herself. If she doesn't, if she wants to be rude to us, we'll be like, yeah, I don't give a shit about your stuff. Hello, climate change. We can't talk to the janitor this time. Can't go into the woman's room again. These elite assholes throw a lot of big parties. It's crazy and that they're allowed to put this up in a school, though. To dose somebody. It's very crazy to allow to put this up in a school. You're right, Trevor. Trevor surveys his domain. Trevor's a nice hoodie. It says beer. That's actually really funny, actually. I like that. I'd, I'd wear that. David. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. David. What's up, David? Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? Do you mind if we talk about what happened yesterday with Chloe? You hit Chloe. You hit Chloe. I'm sure she told you why. Did she mention she probably stole one of my guns? Where's the proof? You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. You treat Kate bad. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of no, security? No, it's not. Unless you know something about Rachel Amber. It's not. He, he, he does not need to be looking for her. That's not his job. Anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. Um, it's not his job to look for her, uh, to look for her, uh, a missing person outside the, the school. But, like, here's the thing as well, like, on some stuff that he said, I do feel like the, the reception I'm getting here is that, like, yes, maybe security is probably important, especially at a school where we've had people get guns pointing at them, and more uh, cameras would gen generally mean that you could have more proof as to what, um, Prescott did. Um, you know, yeah, I do feel that in a way as well. And obviously, like, there is, like, this thing here that, like, you do, maybe he does want to protect Kate. Maybe he does want to protect everyone at the school. Maybe he does actually feel that way. But there's ways to go about it. You know, there is ways to go about it. Hey, Warren. Sit down, science. I'm in the science fight lab now. I'm no Schrodinger's kitty. See you soon. So are we I going still to... have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. That reminds me. I have to score some weed for Juliet me. is laying the smack down on Zachary. Is this a science lab, isn't it? 
This is so cool. Such a great environment. Hello, Miss Grant. How are you? Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. It's good to have someone like that. This is such a cool environment. I wish I could bring a mini Warren with me to my science exams. That'd be really fun, wouldn't it? Blackwell Academy believes the next gen of visionaries should know both art and science to advance their talent and education. Our facilities and curriculum is one of the most diverse in the world. Your future starts here. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Good science is art. Art is science. Boss. True. Very factual. Math is also art as well. Can be, at least. Warren. Bring me the brain, Igor. <laughs> okay. Very well, Max. How you doing, my boy? Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I don't know. I don't know. Warren, I don't know. This seems kind of dangerous. You might as well flip a switch, Frankenstein. I'm the only mad scientist without a faithful Igor. I'll choose using the scientific method. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Potassium. Okay. Weird science. <laughs> Bro. Hey, Warren. What about sodium? Silver. Asking me for... Have that... What about sodium? I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem. Okay. You can we can never talk I've about how heard. cheesy Yet Warren is spoken. when we are like sodium a double cheese sandwich is. over here. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. So maybe we have to do double the Wait. So maybe we have to actually do double the the, the... Hey, Warren. This, the, the other one? Because I thought it was bad that it exploded, that but I guess I'm wrong. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Wait. Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Wait, if this heart hurts him, I'm going to change it back. She blinded me with science. Okay, is that good? Should we speak to him again? Is that good? Yes, that was a blast. But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool. <laughs> He's crazy. He's a crazy boy. See you later, Miss Grant. Where is our classroom? It's up here, I'm guessing. Oh, what? He's talking to Kate. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later. Cool. Sure. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Kate. Why? You don't understand mine. Kate. Nobody does. I don't think we can talk to her. Is there any way we can see if we can... You okay? I, like, this is like, you know, I think it's just one of those things where, like, maybe... Yeah, she's leaving. She's leaving, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um... Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. I'll keep doing you it. Know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation oh, with so telling everyone yesterday. Never mind. Not exactly. Never mind. Sorry. I have to go and work on my photo. You can talk to me anytime. And Max, can I talk to you about Kate? Not sure if you should be I talking to her student to me, but... This viral video. Kate is freaked out. Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I 
talk to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. That was private. That was a private conversation. Not that I wouldn't tell you. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I'd like to believe that, Max. It just seems like there's a lot of drama around you. Okay, this week. get out of my face. Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. <sighs> Hello. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there Not soon. Not right. Um, for me, if I'm handling a situation when, like, uh, like I'm talking to someone about, like, I'm not going to make them feel like they're freaking crazy. Make me beautiful, Hayden. That was pretty, pretty, pretty yeah. awful way of so, conversing. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. Yeah, well done, Stella. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I love you? You think she she's gonna be okay with this? Too bad. <laughs> Probably shouldn't just take people's photos without their consent. So we we did miss out on some photos. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. It's fair enough. Nathan Prescott's right over there. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. So he's waiting to draw Dana. Okay. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. It's hard to not like Hayden because he just doesn't give a shit. Yeah, that's always like kind of attractive, isn't I'm it? I'm kind of doing something now, Max. That's okay. Do we have to talk to Nathan and Victoria? Like, this seems like a bad idea to even like go over here and... Do you think Max will be pissed I can't with believe the principal lets him stay in school after I told him what happened. Like I give a flying fuck. Oh, you do? Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. You look like your Asshole. skeleton is trying to escape your body. That's what you look like, if I'm being honest with you. Did we miss anything around the classroom? Man, I beat you up. I beat you up so good. I would let you... Like, that's the funny thing, man. All it's going to take... And I know he's rich, so it's impossible for this to happen. But all it's going to take is someone bigger than him to come in and just make him piss his pants. And it'd be the greatest thing ever. It's saving. Okay, why is David oh, taking photos? Oh no, of Kate? David. Now this is so wrong and weird. Oh, I was like, <laughs> Jesus, what happened? Oh, you got ex what up, Max? the science hey, stuff. Warren. I saw Kate earlier. Her eyes were. He looks like a, a, an experiment. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll see we you have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate oh, Marsh. Oh, shut up. <laughs> She's not okay, what does he say? What does he say? Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. D Maybe it involves a student? Don't even... Friend? I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are- It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Photo in the contest, like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter. Um, 
I understand, like, the message was good, hey, about, like, looking inward towards yourself. It's just bring it up in front of everybody. That beautiful word about the contrast between light... Sorry, one second, Jug. We've got a text message from Chloe. A league in Lorga now. Um... Max, the boss with the gun, marry me. Sure. A league in Oregon for now. Fuck that shit, elope. Oh, it's illegal here to... Are we in Portland? The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Yeah, I'm super worried about her too. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. What is- Everybody remain seated. What is happening? Dismissed. No, you can do. Do not. You don't dismiss them. Like. You see that? Is this for real? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. No. Who is that up there? Kate. No, 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 Kate. No. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Die. She can't. No, 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 God, no. What the hell? No, 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 no. No, Kate, 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 Kate. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. No, keep going. Keep oh, God, no, please try and do this, Max. Please try and do this. Wait, we stopped time? Oh, Jesus Christ. Please do not do this. Keep going, Max. You can do it. But what do we even what can what can we even do? We have to get up there. We have to get up there. Oh, whoa. Oh. Whoa. What can you, what can you? Please, please, Kate, please, 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 please. Yes. We're just, like stopping time now. Or at least slowing it down to a halt because the rain is still moving. I think. No, the rain stopped. No, please, Kate, Kate, Kate. Say your name, 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 say your name. Say your name! What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me. Oh, she's trying to rewind. She can't rewind anymore. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself. Seriously, don't come near me. Oh, please, no, Kate. Okay, okay. Oh. I'm right here. Kate, please. <sighs> oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing oh, matters. you matter, though. Don't do this. You matter, not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Oh, crap. Kate. Your life is still yours, and we can get through oh. this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Which, what is the best answer here? You're my friend. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I'll always be here for you, Kate. My new motto is friends come. Remember we first. answered we did answer the phone. I did you. feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust oh. me. Come stand by me, okay? Come on, Kate. I can help you now. Come I know on. I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was really Don't tell her that's why would you say even say that? Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to Girl, stop would... me means a lot.
this is this is this is this part is like to confirm this is I think this is trying to confirm that she was like she, she like that she was a victim I think this part is to confirm so I'm gonna say you were drugged like it's just, it's just like she knows Nathan was involved I care about you because I believe you were drugged we will find out who did this and make them pay. yeah you sound so persuasive Max no, we will. We will. I believe. We will. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to. No, you do don't. This. You don't. You don't. Max, I'm in a nightmare, and yeah, I can't wake up. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Unless I put oh. myself to sleep, then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. It feels like that way now. It definitely it does. Web. Nothing can ever get out. It feels like, like you want to be in a coma you. forever. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong. There are billions of videos everybody will forget. What do we even like? <laughs> I'm gonna say be strong because I feel like everyone will forget. That's not. She doesn't gonna. She's not gonna believe this. And there are billions of videos like that's diminishing what she's feeling right now. Chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? Like I feel like we I said, like there's billions of videos. That's diminishing what she's gone through. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of oh. crap. <laughs> but I'll come with you. You're my friend. You are. Forever. Can we hug on it? No! Nobody cares about me! Nobody! What? Your sisters, your mother, your father, your father. Remember the thing he wrote, he wrote to you? Kate, I saw yeah. that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. He adores you. Question. Dad does care, even though I hurt Yeah. Him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Oh. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Oh. <laughs> now, I know today was difficult for everybody. But I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. <laughs> so, yeah, so tough to even, real hero. To even get As through. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties Jesus seriously. Christ. I take the well-being of every student <sighs> more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security, D here, those you cannot blame David for this. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not. You're not blaming and David that for this. Is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected what? to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class. So you should have known. No, 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 you can't blame Mr. Jefferson either. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex He's club responsible for more than that. And since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Oh, answer some more questions. Do you know how that can feel? What, what he said to, like, I, I don't like David. But that's a horrible thing to say to David. That's a horrible thing to say to him. Same Mr. Jefferson as well, to make them feel like they did that? Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, oh God. tell us everything. There's a guy beside me that is, is a real issue here. Nathan Doster. Jefferson made her cry. David bullied her. Nathan Doster. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. 
She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? D is what? this not a telltale Ever. sign? He's right in front of you. 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 You took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. Oh, yeah? She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. Come on, take me to court then. Sue you and this Sue me. school so Sue me. fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Sue me. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by Why? multiple sources. That's including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party. Piece of shit. I have no choice Piece of garbage. to suspend him. To suspend, expel, notes. expulsion. Whatever. See you in court. Yeah, see you in court. You little dirtbag. Excuse bag. me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them first. Oh, shut up. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said show up. I'm devastated right now. I'd a like friend to and student to this guy. Yeah, All right. Miss right. Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me. No. But I no. think I can. I, I stand by what I said. I stand by what I said. There you go. There's, there you go. I don't like David. He's a, a, abusive. But what they freaking did. Well, I think that we was horrible now to make him started. feel that way. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful oh my day. God. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. No, you, yeah, but you you had a chance to do something. You've had a chance for months. You've all had a chance for months to do something. Every one of you. You've all had the chance. They've all had the chance for so long to do something. This is a, a, a result of neglect. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her. <sighs> and then I could feel I never felt that way playing a video game in my life. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look yeah, no, I, I wouldn't feel like a superhero I mean, after that. I'd feel I feel good, but it would be, it'd be like you wouldn't feel good for like another few years. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. This is a beautiful scene as well, I'm but it's so hard for me to comment Katie. on that stuff right now, guys. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Like it's gorgeous. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. Yeah, it spread. So you watched it. Just one. And a half you're, you're an idiot too. Why are you watching that stuff? Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... So angry. There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday and Madsen is a straight up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Is it snowing again? An eclipse? Confirms this weird day. I feel that Can I say that we'll talk about all in the credits? I suppose I think the credits are coming. Today. This is like feels like a ending know. scene. I would. Yeah, they're playing the music. Yeah. No, dude, not the freaking time, really. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I guess he needed his support at any point. Um. Um, if if David did do something, then that's horrible, obviously. But we have no proof that he did anything to do, to do with to do with Rachel Amber or Kate, right? And the fact of the matter is, is that like to to make him feel that way for not locking a door, which can happen so easily in any job, to forget something. You know what I mean? It can happen so easy to forget something part of your job. To lock a few doors. So to put that blame on him is horrific. It really is. Just to 
consequences of your actions. This is it. What are you smiling for? You need to face... This is what you have to face up to. Beautiful dog. Beautiful, beautiful dog. Oh, Kate. Oh, my girl. Oh. Victoria's gonna need a bit of. I know it's, you know it's not the time to think about this because people might want, not want to think about this. There's Chloe. Hopefully, she understands now what we have to answer. Talk it up again. For a pity girl. Yeah, she understands. She she understands. Yeah. Oh my god. What can happen? Like like can, can she actually die in that scene? I imagine like the way they were doing it was like seemed like it was like a build like the, in game mechanics wise. And I, I don't mean to talk about it this way, you know, because it's a serious matter. But I think that like um Rachel, Kelly, Lynn. What is this? What are we looking at here? Kate. So someone is exploring all these characters here. Um, there's that episode two out of time. Um... New milestone reach? Oh yeah, because of course it is, because like, it's a new account. Um, um, yeah, just to get that out of the way. The reason I, I it's not the time to think about this, but Victoria's going to need someone to watch her as well. Um, although, like, all, what she did was horrible, and she's a horrible person for doing it, and she needs to face up to what happened today was her part of her, it was her fault in a way. Um, I wouldn't like to see what happened today to happen to anyone. So, um, I really don't want her to... You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? I know it's not the time to be thinking about that, but um, that was one of the most powerful scenes I've seen in the game. But yeah, like I was saying, game design-wise, they had a bunch of questions, and I'm guessing that like if you got some of the questions slightly wrong. Now, the good thing about it is we explore enough that like we were able to like really kind of like play on the fact that we were with her for a while. You know, I'm here for you because we texted her. You know, I saw your dad's postcard. Um, you know, and also, quite, uh, uh, like, in those situations, saying things will pass doesn't help at all. It really doesn't. I don't get that line. It doesn't help at all, because, like, you can't see the end of the tunnel. You can't see it. Um, or saying there's other videos out there. That's like saying, like, you know, in any embarrassing uh, scene, um, that, you know, there's other, there's other, the worst things out there, you know, we don't want to say that either. Um... The way Nathan was handled was still not good, because what happened there in the in the office there was the principal was still trying to diminish what was happening. So if he can say that like the teacher who should should doesn't have any um, obligation to know if there's like doesn't have an actual legal obligation to know if there's something amiss, um, and someone who forgot to lock a door, um, compared to the guy who caused this. You know what I mean? It's just completely different. Um, in my book, like, like, and I and I feel for David in a way. And I'm sorry, like, I know, like, like again, can I just say this? And I hope you understand what I'm saying. I still think he's an asshole for what he did to Chloe. He should never have done it. He's an abusive asshole. He's awful. Um, but man, I I wouldn't like to have to, to have that put on me. You know, forgetting to lock a door. You 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 hurt you you criticize and you call out people for the stuff they did, not the stuff they didn't do. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Um, I'm not trying to sit here defending David. Um, I'm not trying to sit here defending uh, 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 sorry Victoria either, because what she did was horrible and it's her fault. It's it's her fault that this happened. Um, but also like. Like I said, I just want to make sure that this doesn't happen to someone else. Um, in terms of Kate, man, I'm so sad for this girl. I, I'm so sad for this girl. Um, she is a a pure the the textbook what would be called a victim. And if this happened now, 
like this would be an insane thing that would be all over the internet in two minutes. Um, but this was a different time. This was a different time, and this was a time when you could do pretty much whatever you wanted. Um, and it wasn't illegal. And that's just the truth. Um, I remember I was a teenager, uh, just like a few years before this time, like maybe two years before this time, I was like a really young teenager. I was about, I was Max's age in this year, in, you know, 2013. And, like, if I could say that, like, um, I knew at that time, like, if you didn't call people out for stuff, they would continue doing it. Which is rough, you know? And, you know, and I knew that also, like, there was a lot of, like, dudes who had a really shitty upbringing, um, who weren't told that they, you have to treat, you know, women and girls with respect. And because of that, they ended up being, uh, like, awful. Not as bad as Nathan Prescott, but you know what I mean? Like, they, they think a joke like that was funny. They think a video like that would be funny. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Um, this is really heavy, a really heavy topic throughout this whole video. I will put a warning at the start of the video, even though there's an ultimate warning on this whole series that you don't watch this unless you really want to deal with heavy topics. What I will say is that I will put a warning at the start of this video. You will see a warning at the start of this video. Um, obviously, like, there's, there's ways to reach out and there's ways to get help. Um, so I, I, I do implore everyone who's watching this, you know, um, all I can say is, and I'm not saying this as like a, as a, this is what I have said to myself after being through such horrible times myself. Um, uh, you will miss out on so much good times if you decide all your best times are in the past. Um, I think so anyway. I think so. I really feel that way. I really do. And Kate is... You could see the signs. You could definitely see the signs. We saw the signs. Um, it's just the issue is, in, in a school setting, it's really difficult to see those signs from some perspectives. But some people have no excuse. The principal has no excuse because the, if, if, if David Madsen already sent him that video, that's it. It's over. That's it. That's, there's no excuse. At that point, she should have been on watch. She just should have been... Uh, she should have been uh, diverted to the school counselor. She should have been, uh, the police should have gotten involved, all this stuff. Um, but it wasn't. And that's, the principal is lecturing other people when he is, in my opinion, in this situation, besides the people that actually did it, at most at fault. In this situation. Um, he let, in, in reality, even letting Nathan go do whatever he wanted has gotten a girl assaulted and has could, potentially almost got Chloe killed. You know? Um, and it's crazy that, like, in stuff, I like, guess, e very easily preventable stuff, and it is, don't let anyone tell you it isn't. It's easily preventable stuff. Can't be prevented because people are, decide it can't be prevented. Um, thanks for, thanks. Um, and a beautiful game. Um. So let's see these choices. Um, you told Kate to go to the police. Oh, wait, so 68% told her to get more proof. Okay. You answer Kate's called. Oh, twenty-one percent didn't answer the call. That makes sense, I guess. You tried to shoot Frank. Fifty-two percent. You saved Kate's life. That's a so she, she couldn't die. And it's a pretty even split, like pretty close to being even. You blame Nathan. That makes perfect sense. You blame Mr. Jefferson. I thought like people would blame David more than Mr. Jefferson, because I don't think you can really blame Mr. Jefferson in this situation, right? Uh, you watered the plant. You didn't water the plant. You helped Alyssa. You didn't... I, I helped Alyssa. Some people didn't help Alyssa. You entered the... Erased the link on Kate's video. 8% of people are like, why? Like, they had to have been doing a chaos run that's a load of bullshit or something. You were friendly with Taylor. You weren't friendly with Taylor. Okay, yeah, good. You accepted Warren's invitation. You Some people rejected him. You wrote a message. I didn't write a message. Oh, God, I didn't. I didn't even see that. You tampered... I, I don't think we needed to do that. That was Rachel's room. You tampered with the rail tracks. You didn't... You can... You can Wait, is that going to come back to haunt me? You didn't gain entry to the vortex. You can actually gain to go to the party. I don't want to go to that party after what happened. You didn't help Warren. Wait, you helped Warren? I thought that was helping Warren. And you didn't tell on to, on David to Mr. Jefferson. Um, 
I, is that what we were doing? Oh, I, I did, my 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 whole thing with that is I thought he was just he was just being annoying. Like I, I thought he wasn't gonna believe us because he was already wasn't believing. Um, Kate. Pause it there. And I will see you guys very very soon. I'm gonna call out the names of the the can never pay to be a big gangster here by now, guys. But I thank you very much for watching this. I thank you very much for being a very great audience. Um. If you need to take a step away from the series, always protect yourself before anyone else. Um, and thank you to TyFire02, Jamie Bull, Jan and Banana, Normal Cara, Rachel S, the Ghost of Mizuma, Felicious Felix, George, Candelaria, Eskun, Yuld, Radish, Poke Girl, Tether, Fruity, Orange Bang, Summer Races, Death Trap, Anusta, X I R B I R. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Malcolm Conde, who also upgraded their membership just like TyFire did as well. Um, thank you guys so much for all your support and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.